very good morning to you. How are you doing? Welcome to Life and Style. Now, this is Tuesday, and you know, every single Tuesday, it's a testic Tuesday. We get all artsy. And today's not ordinary Tuesday because I've got a new co host. Well, you saw her last year, the last Friday of 2016. She was here as a guest on Catch Up. I'm talking about the beautiful finale. Woohoo! There you go. So, <laughs> hi everybody. I'm Finali Galea and I'm your co-host. I know. The amazing Vikali. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. We're about to have fun and loads of fun. It's all about art. So, we've got performing arts, we've got visual arts, we've, we've got, got poetry, mm -hmm. and we've got one surprise segment that I'm going to let Nikali tell you about. Oh, pain rush. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she decided it's a surprise, but hey, we've got amazing guests lined up for you. So, stay, stay tuned in for that. Now, starting us off, on um, performing at there's a little girl you look like you used to perform when you were a small girl were you performing as a small girl no i was a scared scared girl but she's really? so brave she I is so brave her. she is so brave you guys yes she is so brave. She was here a while back with little Miss Kenya. I'm talking about Zawadi and the mom they're here with me. You're doing great. High five. Can you get here? No? There you go. And high five Hi, mama. Natalie. You're well? Yeah. Karibu sana. Santa, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. So what do you know? I saw you last year and you did an amazing performance for us. Thank you. Yeah, are you ready to do that today as well? Yep. Maybe in, start with your introduction, introduce yourself, how old you are, okay? Okay. Do you want to start? Okay. Maybe mommy will help her get down. Yeah. There you go. My name is Awadi Kayo. I'm four years old and to recite for you a poem plant me a tree thank you plant me a tree i want to feel the air sweet and free i want to hear the birds giggling with glee as from one tree to another they flee won't you plant me a tree Plant me a tree that erosion may end and drought kept at arm's length and hunger kept at arm's length and the trees bless us with rains as the environment we tend Tending with tenderly love for Mother Nature. Won't you plant me a tree? Plant me a tree. I want the butterflies to glide with glee. I want the rivers to flow, gurgling, gurgling with glee. I want the monkeys to sing loud and free praising our care for the ozone layer celebrating our kindness to the ozone layer oh what is this ozone layer mm -hmm. i guess it is a heavenly zone up there and maybe someday Zawadi will take you to the ozone layer. But only when you plant me a tree. Oh, won't you plant me a tree? Thank you for planting Zawadi a tree. Oh, Thank we'll you. definitely plant Zawadi a tree. <laughs> Come here. Zawadi, no. let me ask you a question. Can I? Oh, you're heavy. You know that? <laughs> I, I, I can't. Mom, just try and put her here. <laughs> right. There you go. There you go. So, Zawadi, how, how long did it take you to get those lines? My mom taught me. Your mom taught me? <laughs> did you write that particular piece? Yeah, I write, but I also work with the two script writers. So <laughs> I come up with a concept and get it to them to put in the poetry aspect of it. Then sometimes it's just work from them, but we work together as a team. Wow. Yeah. At what point did you know that Zawadi, how, you're four years old. At what point did you know that Zawadi can do these amazing performances? I think it's uh, maternal instincts. Eh? <laughs> from the time, maybe from the time she was in my tummy, oh, a reaction from the stomach. But otherwise, as soon as she was born, 
as soon as she started like talking, communicating, mm -hmm. not talking per se, but mm -hmm. communicating, mm -hmm. I figured out that she was good with her cartoons and she would mimic and talk about the same thing over and over. So that's when I decided like, oh, what, how about I try something? you know, that would be out of cartoon, but to just to test and gauge her. Yeah. Then I figured out that after f like three, four days, she wasn't, she wasn't two yet at that time. Mm -hmm. She was just uh, one year, a few months mm -hmm. when we did our first poem. The usual poem of my name is, Mama, do you remember? Do you remember it? Do you want to perform it? My name is Kayo. I wake up in the morning. I brush my teeth. I wash my face. I comb my hair. I wear my shoes. I go to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when she got that, uh -huh. uh, I was a bit, a little bit, uh, you know, inspired to think even to do more. Yeah. Then after which we did, just as soon as she turned two, we did the second poem about when I grew up. Mama, do you still remember it? Okay, you can try that as well. When I grow up, they want me to be a doctor to treat people. When they... <laughs> okay, that was, that, yeah. How long ago was that? That was uh, when she was two years, two years two ago. Years. Yeah. Then uh, after that, well, as soon as she turned three, mm -hmm. I thought about, you know, like, because uh, of the way she... She, she's a good communicator, even yeah. when not doing poetry, just yeah. when talking. Mm -hmm. Then I thought like, okay, how about the, just tap this talent that she has? Because I believe it's talent. It is So talent. I was like, how, what can we do to help her grow it? How, what can we do to mm -hmm. nurture the thing? To help her also to communicate with people as young as she may be. Because you know, sometimes on the issues that affect us every day, and then sometimes what happens is that... Uh, when a kid tells you something, a child, sorry, when they communicate a message that it could be big and uh, however, however big or however small the message is, we tend to pay much attention to children. So mm -hmm. that's when I thought about doing away from now, my name is this, I mean when I, want, when I grow up, so I, I, we, we opened, we went broader. Yeah, because and, the uh, tree's poem yeah, is very, very... Yeah, the tree's poem she did last year at the Little Miss Kenya performance. Yeah, the theme was on... Yeah, last year. <laughs> yeah, 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 she yeah. was here. So that's when she did because the, the theme was about planting trees, about the environmental conservation. Mm -hmm. So we tried to do something, and in which she won the, the best talent category for her group. Then after that we did one for post-election violence because I thought, okay, it could go in line again we are going to the elections. We yeah. have a kid here who Did can you communicate. Remember that, Zawadi? The one Do for what's in a name. Election My name is Zawadi Kayo. I'm four years old. And to tell you a poem, what's in a name? Mm -hmm. Everybody has a name. Some are short, like Joe. Some are long, like Machende Chere. Some are <sighs> Single like Jesus. Some are double double like Miguna Miguna. A Chien Dung Kiproyo Patel Mweni Mama Kayo Kayo Name it. We all have different names. No name is wrong. Zule Zoyembe Zita Wedu Zule Zoyembe Zita Wedu Zule Zoyembe Zita Wedu Now Ziza One, two, three, four Five years before I was born Mama says Kenya was burning Five years before I, I was born, I am told our people were fighting. That elections brought us shame. That we thought because of our names. Five years after my birth, Mama says there will be a Lections. Five years after my birth, Zawadi prays you will save this nation, that she will not need coffee and none, that we will love all names and fight none. Because elections come and go, but our names are here to stay. Mm -hmm. Do not fight 
or kill each other because of their names. For we are, are all Kenyans and created in the image of God. Do you like your name? Mm -hmm. My name is Awadi Kayo and I love my name. Yes, you, yes, you. What is your name? Do you want to be your name like me? I am Zawadi, a special gift to humanity, and I love my name. Won't you tell me your name, please? Thank you. My name, my name is, is Mama Kai. I love <laughs> my name. <laughs> my name is Mama Kai, and I love and your name. And you love your name. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. That was really beautiful. That was really... So five years. You know five years is this year. You yeah. turned five this year? Not yet. This, no, not yet? Not yet, but she'll be turning five this year. She'll be turning five this year, 2017. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. That means elections are going to be taking place this five year. Five so years, yeah. After yeah, after, after she was born. Yeah. And uh, we're hoping that they're going to be... Yeah. But the message you're trying to yeah. pass across to Kenyans. That's you know? really, really good. Yeah. So you go with the seasons as you create the pieces that she performs. Yeah. And this particular poem, she did it uh, as a cutting razor at Kenyatta University during the the opening ceremony for the Culture Week 2016 uh -huh. with the guest. Uh, the guest was uh, Francis, Honorable Francis Ole Caparo, and he really liked the poem. In fact, he stopped using his speech. He was like, you know what? I don't need a speech. I'll use Kai the word is speech <laughs> to educate. Then after that, we did um, the one for cancer in the month of October last year. Mm -hmm. And um, that was still, again, sensitization, you know, just advising people, talking about cancer. We know cancer, what it does to us. It, yeah. I mean, it doesn't even choose who mm -hmm. to. Yeah. That's true. yeah, it doesn't matter who you are, however yeah. small, however big. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I thought like, okay, how about again? We just we do it sentimentally. We enjoy it. Mom, don't you love your poems? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's pretty. She's pretty easy to work with. Yeah, everybody can tell you that. Even the other things that she does outside, mm -hmm. besides poetry, mm -hmm. she's always been easy to work with her directors and everything. So when we did the cancer poem, to my surprise, it took her one week to one learn the week. poem. Yeah. And you know they're pretty long. Yeah, they're pretty long. Post election she did when she was three, the one for what's in her name. She yes. was three. I, I have it on YouTube on her account, Zawadi Kayo. Uh, she was three and people could not believe like this is a three year old doing this, you know. But I was like, if you need the birth certificate, we have <laughs> I'll, it. I'll show you it. Can you. Produce I'll it. Show it yeah. to you. Do you remember the cancer one? Mm. Yes. You can the do it for now. This thing. You can just say it. Okay. Yeah. My name is Zawadi Kayo. Um four years old and to tell you a poem what is this thing thank you what is this thing this thing that kills everything this thing that is cured by nothing this thing that leaves us with nothing Thing. Mm -hmm. This thing that gives me ulcers, I hear you call it cancer. This thing that makes the poor poorer, taking away the little they have. This thing that makes the rich travel out side running away from the facilities that we have this thing that robs the african economy mm -hmm. and takes our hard earned resources to asia and europe i wonder where it came from why amongst us it Roms. I wonder which one it will steal from us, making us curse and more pain. This thing that gives me ulcers, I hear you call it cancer. Make a 
hungry python. It doesn't care. It takes away both the young and the old. It doesn't care. It takes away both the rich and the poor. It doesn't care. It takes away doctors and professors. It doesn't care. This thing that gives me ulcers. I hear mm -hmm. you call it cancer. Could it be the food that we eat mm -hmm. or the water we drink? Because of cancer, I always think. But I hear if I go for a scan early, if it is diagnosed early, cancer, they say, is curable and life will be durable and will stop being vulnerable. Have you gone for a cancer scan? Please do. It could save your life. This thing that gives me ulcers. I here you call it cancer. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> you know, up, up, every single piece that she performs yeah. has a message and yeah. it has a call to action. Yeah. It's not just a performance. Yeah. So yes, I've performed. Yeah. But have you done this? Yeah. Will you do this? Yeah. What is your name? Yeah. Do you love your name? Mm -hmm. Have you gone for a cancer scan? Yeah. You know, have you are you gonna plant a tree for the one day? <laughs> so all exactly. the poems that she's doing, they have a call to action which is very 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 good is it something mm. that you look um to make sure that every poem has yeah it's a uh, you know uh, besides the talent it's mm -hmm. about communicating yeah. educating mm -hmm. people have learned through her poems there's a time when hospital for example and then the doctor was like oh hi you chubby little girl uh, can you t you know like can you entertain me because they told the doctor she's a poet mm -hmm. so when she did the cancer poem it reminded the doctor that she's actually treating people but she hasn't gone for a scan yet so it's about communicating Huh? Educating. And educating, educating mm. the masses. It's the usual things, but you see, when it comes from a kid, they mm. remind you about yeah. the, the, the ordinary, mm -hmm. then the messages are, are quite clear on this. This is thing. like getting a message that you know, yeah. but from a different source. So it exactly. gives you an alert signal mm -hmm. like you need to do this. Mm -hmm. So, apart from poems, that, does she sing? Yeah, she loves music, she loves dancing, <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't uh, really tapped into the singing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she needs a bit of voice coaching, but she's good with words. Actually, mm -hmm. the, one of the reasons I went into poetry, besides the the, the she cartoons, just put a diagnosed word. I was like, wow, how old is she again? <laughs> she's four, and she ha yeah. she hasn't been school until this year. She was homeschooling. She was homeschooling until the 4th of January. So all this we were able to do from the comfort of our home mm -hmm. at her own timing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Mm. So <laughs> you are quite the performer. <laughs> you are quite the performer. Now, I know you also <laughs> love the sea latch song. High five to mama. High five, high five. to mama. You Actually, give me a high ten. Yay. There you go. <laughs> I know you also love the other one, Bruce Sinachi. I, I know who I am. I know who I am. So we're going to make you, uh, we're going to listen to you to form that later on. But right now, let's get back to the conversation. Okay. So singing, have you gotten to the point where you write songs for her, get into a studio? Uh, not yet, but we hope that comes as soon as possible so we're able to also capitalize on that because she's talented. Yeah, because the vocals are there. Yeah, they're the there. Vocals are there. Yeah, just a bit of smoothening, but mm -hmm. uh, we're still looking into getting there. Okay. Yeah. Homeschooling and going to school, do you think you'd have achieved the same thing if uh, Zawadi had gone straight to, you know, join school when she was supposed to? Yeah, uh, academically, perhaps, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, in terms of talent, maybe, you know, this requires a bit of time. Yes. Yeah, so like uh, we have, sometimes we have like a week or two to do a poem. Like we have 
performance somewhere. So you're told this is the theme, like the one for the Little Miss Kenya, perfect yes. example. Eh? Yes. We have the competitions coming up, and uh, the theme is environment. So we want you to do something kindly, if you can, do something on the environment. So we have little time. So maybe the, the, the achieving that while she was in school, should have been in school at that time, would have been a problem, a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. So we attribute again that to the amount of time we've been spending together. Yeah. She has great nannies who take care of her and who get her through that. Okay. The poetry, but still, even in school, there is about balancing. You know, yeah, because we have to, to ask, find like, how is it now? Homeschooling, you had the time, yeah. But now that she joined school, yeah, how are you able to balance the the shows that are coming up, the rehearsals, yeah. classwork? Yeah, yeah. So it's just the beginning. So we'll see how that goes. I already got her manager, by the way, nice. to be working with her because I'm also like employed. I have a very demanding job, okay. And I'm a student at the same time. So all that, then now uh, the school. Again, it took me a bit of time to think about which school to take her. Mm -hmm. You know, looking at a school that will be able to help develop, continue yeah. from what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, already the teachers are aware about her talent, yeah. and uh, if, uh, including the principal, mm -hmm. that uh, this is what she's capable of doing. And uh, once in a while, she would be called somewhere for a performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the poem. So we got to the cancer bit yeah. and that it was very, very informative as yeah, well. So what other poems have you have you had Zawadi perform? Uh, yeah, well during the same time that we had Little Miss Kenya going on, mm -hmm. we had Mrs. Kenya going on. Oh, Mrs. Kenya, Mrs. Mrs. Kenya. Little Miss Kenya. No, after that we had Mrs. Kenya mm -hmm. and uh, the theme was on domestic violence. Ah. And uh, she was requested again to, you know, do a poem. So we had to write a poem and have her do it. And she did it. And she did well. But that was a one-off performance. Mama, um, what do you think? Domestic violence? Kindly? So, just say it. It's okay. <laughs> just say it. Musa ni mevumulia sana Kupigwa pigwa kila siku Musa Na sura yangu imeharibika Kabu Ya wa Our body is not a punching bag You and I must stop domestic violence Mama nurses her broken limb that she can no longer walk to fend for her family. Baba's chopped hands are limb that she can no longer walk, work to feed for his family. Auntie lies lifeless, battered to death by her drunk husband. Little Anna is just four years old, she's down. She can no longer perform well at school. Mm. Her future is being thrown into ruins well. Her result for the in violent environment. Our body is not a mm. punching bag. You and I must stop domestic violence. Instance intimidation causes pain and tears. I talk of children beaten ruthlessly. I talk of parents assaulted mercilessly. Home becomes hell and makes me in anger yell. Our body is not a punching bag. You and I mm -hmm. must stop domestic violence. Then the sun should learn to smile again. It raise us children growing in confidence again. There are mothers full of love turning. The fathers very protective feeling as our society blossoming without sorrow. Mm. This is the environment we want. Without domestic violence, home shall be a palace. This is the environment we want. Without domestic violence, 
home shall be a palace. Our body is not a punching bag. You and I must stop domestic violence. Zawadi Kayo is my name. Four years is my age. Thank you. High five. There you go. You know, you are a great performer. What do you want to do when you grow up? A doctor. You want to be a doctor? An engineer. And a president. You want to be a president? President of Kenya? Mm. What's to make the whole country better. The whole country. So you want to be Huru Kenyatta? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be the first female president of Kenya? Mm. Yeah? That's really good. All the best. Mm. So among engineer, doctor, and president, which one would you prefer? Or all of them? Mm. All of them. You, you're a champion. <laughs> You're a champion. Mom, what are what other one one last poem and then we go to the song? Okay, I think uh, we have a new poem that mm -hmm. we're still working on, work in progress on maternal mortality. Like I told you, we address issues that affect us on That's a daily really basis. Good. Yeah. So maybe she can take us through the same. Are you ready? Just what you can yeah. remember, okay? Mm. Yeah. Maternal mortality. Nye, nye, nye. Joy to the world, a child is born. Joy to the world, a new life is found. Joy to the world, a new love is found. Joy to the world, a whole village is celebrating. The lotus is captivating. Their songs motivating listen to them sing the hope has developed a wing but a scream is hard passing the air so hard A name, it is gone, lying in her arms, lamb. Their daughter, its mother, two lively, silent, and numb. We have lost a future president. We have lost a future poet like me. to stop this, to stop maternal mortality. No mother should die in pregnancy or childbirth. 488 is the number of deaths, 100,000 births in just one year. Don't you think that are uh, too many mothers dying? Don't you think that are uh, too many children's orphaned. Don't you think that are uh, too many husbands widowed? Don't you think that are uh, too many families broken? No mother should die in pregnancy or childbirth. Wait a minute, a minute, minute. This number can go down, of course, if only we commit ourselves to the cause. This number can go down if only better health workers in the system. This number can go down. Mm -hmm. No. No mother should die in pregnancy or childbirth. I am lucky to have been born alive. You too are lucky to have been born alive. They too must be lucky day of tomorrow. No mother should die in pregnancy or childbirth. Zawadi Kayo is my name. Four years is my age. I am gift to save childbirth. Thank you. <laughs>
That's really good. And you are saying it's work in progress. That's a complete perfect. Yeah, I surprised me. Mama high five. It was still work in progress. Oh yeah? yeah. Okay, fine. Let's have the final piece. <laughs> that is uh, the song by Sinatch. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Me and Mama are gonna perform with you. Are you okay with that? Mm. We'll be your backup dancers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Okay. Hiya, let's have that uh, that other one. It's called I Know Who I Am. <laughs> <laughs> 